Okay. Oh, prepare yourself, guys. This is Chris and Eric. We're here when we're going to do a reaction video to the old guard. So we thought we'd get a little fancy today, you know. Couldn't uh, let a day go by with uh, someone, you know, rocking the blazer better than, than me, but... Oh yeah, second best. I have to do my best here, so let's uh let's get right into it. Do you know anything about this this movie, the the old guard for Netflix? Yeah, I I mean I saw a bit of the preview, but I didn't get a chance to like look at the whole thing. But I've heard of it. Right, okay. Not sure what kind of movie it is. So let's go find out. Hopefully it won't it won't spoil us because Netflix is notorious for giving away <laughs> everything. But let's, here's the hoping. All right, <laughs> go. Who are you? You can call me Andy. I lead a group of Charlie Stern. Yeah. Fighters. Ah, oh, man, they brought her back. Yes. With an extremely rare skill set. What do you mean? Not a cake. Mother. Set up. What? Let's just say we're very hard to kill. Are they like the Walking Dead or got questions, kid? Modern Walking answers. Dead? Boy, Netflix Skydance. I have the new one. The new one. And the zombies? I think she has potential. <laughs> Ooh, super strength. See, you're already healing faster. You're gonna do great. Team of Wolverine. Yeah. So you good guys or bad guys? Depends on the century. Century? We <laughs> never die. Just because we keep living doesn't mean we stop burning. <laughs> Throughout history, we've protected this world, fighting in the shadows. Hmm. Are they vampires? It's nearly impossible to disappear. Well, they seem to be in the sunlight. Unless they're daywalkers. Would you like me to take one for you? Oh, thank Crush. you so much. There you go. Thank you. Wait, why should she, why she delete the picture and then take the picture? They don't want well, because she was in the uh, she was in the picture. Oh. She didn't want to be seen. Oh snap! They're going to walk. Okay, us Netflix. Us. But I never hope this is not the whole movie. Yeah, I was, I was literally <laughs> about to say that. Like, okay, now we're getting into the Shit, let's start a band. the territory. If we can unlock their genetic code, the entire world will be begging us for the key. Wait, he just said genetic code. That reminds me of Resident Evil. Yeah. I think he's talking about a bit of immortality. Uh, but we do have purpose. Okay, there's a dark side to it. I strongly recommend that we leave right now. <laughs> Wait for the signal. How the hell can you even tell? <laughs> That's the signal. Oh. That's the signal. <laughs> July 10th. Oh man. So, yeah, it looks like Netflix is, is stepping up and uh, on their on their content, man. That looks like it's gonna be real good. That should have gone to the theaters. I feel like that, that should have been in theater. Well, well, well we don't know if, if, if it was, it was scheduled to. Yeah. So they're probably just like, all right, let's just stream it. Because I know that Netflix usually, even if it's a movie that that seems like it's theater worthy, they're they're still trying to make it like appealing for their platform. They're trying to get you to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I mean, but I mean, you who should. isn't a subscriber to Netflix by now, right? But true. I mean, good. granted, like I like the angles that they did and the choice of lighting. Like at the parts where they're in the dark place, you can tell that there were like very little light mm. and. I'm a fan of the angles. Like if you get the perfect angle, mm -hmm. you can't mess up. I'm always just a fan of anything Charlize Theron. That's just me. I don't care <laughs> any angle that she's in. It doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> every angle you can every think of. Every angle that man. you can get from the side, from above, bird, you know, whatever, bird's eye view, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> eagle eye. Eagle eye uh, all day. <laughs> that's that's my jam. I, I'm just I'm upset. It reminded me about how uh, they're going to do a Furioso movie. But they're not gonna use her. What? Yeah, they, they, I it's, guess it's they, gonna. It's I, gonna. It's I guess be... it's gonna go back so far that, that she's too old to play her her character. So, but but maybe maybe the movie will progress into, or maybe she'll be in the beginning of the movie. And say, I remember a time when I was a teenager. 
But yeah, like maybe they'll do a prequel with her. That's what it's going to be a prequel. It's going to be said before Mad Max. Then she. And she's not going to be in it. But she's going to be in this though. They so. need to have a girl that looks exactly. so much like her if it's going to be a prequel. Like, well, if they can if get not, Charlize to to look like Megan Kelly, I'm sure with the makeup and stuff, they they can probably. They can well, probably like they up. did in uh the Irishman. Yeah, they made them look they, young, man. Yeah. They're really old. But I heard now. that they didn't want to do the de aging thing for some reason, but. I don't know. Maybe budgeting. I don't know. Who knows? Let's fi- figure that out, guys. Let us know what's going on with that. Because I-, I want anything with Charlize, I want to see it. But I definitely want to see the old oh, yeah. guard. This looks like it's going to be real good. What would you rate it out of five stars? I usually don't rate things anymore. for, But you mean this trailer? Yeah, the, the trailer potential? of like this your... This is a good trailer. I'll-, I'll give it a solid like three and a half to four, maybe four out of five. That's a- it's, a- it's an intriguing trailer. It made me go, damn, I, I got to see that. Yeah, that like me, I-, I think it broke the record. I mean, like the scale. Because, I mean... I'm a fan of like action mm-hmm. and like I said, it was just the angles, the right angles and the lighting. Like when the girl got the in front of all these and took those bullets. And yeah, things, was, I was that like, was tight. That was like tight. that was good like sacrifice that. right there. By the way, like damn, oh, thanks for that. Like, no problem, <laughs> no problem. Like, a team, like I was saying, a team of Wolverines. Like, <laughs> like could you imagine that? So, yeah. and and the, I guess the plot is uh, maybe the uh, scientists want to figure out what how they keep living yeah. like, for so long. Which and the, would, I like the the makeup how they did and, you know her died. healing right oh, there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like the oh. healing factor. Oh yeah. I'm gonna keep I, throwing in Wolverine words. <laughs> like, like, I wonder if she has an adamantium skeleton or something like that. But, but then that's why I thought it was like maybe along the lines of you know Resident Evil. Yeah, you brought like Resident like, Evil. Because like, once he said genetic, thing, I'm like, wait, come on, dude, it can't be another outbreak. No, no, it doesn't look like it's gonna be one of those things. But potential, maybe in a sequel. Maybe. It might be the beginning of a coronavirus story. Yeah. It's the prequel <laughs> to that. Charlize is going to save us from COVID-19. <laughs> anyway, guys, let us know what you guys think. Comment below. Put it in the box below. And, and as always, we might talk about it on the We Got Your Mail segment of the show. But until next time, guys, 